Previously on MTV's Spider Games. Julie, everything I am doing is for you. Why do you think I took the job at Spider Games? That's what I wonder. You are making a huge mistake. Sasha's education here is over. Look, I am not afraid of you. You can take your threats and you can go to hell. Watching Passions again, Don? Uh, no, well, yeah, we, um, it, it's actually research for our new game, Witch Wars. So if Tabitha's the witch, who's the midget? Oh, that, that's, that's not a midget, that's a doll that she animated with her satanic powers. Oh, so he's like her assistant. Yeah. He does all the work, and she gets all the credit. <clears throat> and she can turn him right back into a doll when he gets out of line. Right, doll? You're in, a, you're in a good mood. Of course. Spider Games is all mine, and now that Dimitri is back in L.A., nobody is going to take it from me. Well, um, well, except for except for maybe one, one person. Who? Oh, Ben Raymond? Well, he, he, he was your dad's lawyer. He's, he's the only other person who knows what was on the will. Yeah, but he's not talking. Look, from what the hospital tells me, he's barely chewing his own food. Any messages? Uh, yeah, the, uh... Fort Kent Tree Frog Foundation called? Screw them. How dare my father try to give them my share of his estate. The slimy little bastards deserve to be extinct. Just like Daddy. By the way, did you get rid of the original copy of the DVD well? Uh, no. Why not? Todd, we can't afford to have that thing hanging around. Where is it? Well, I, I, was, I, was, I was saving it for you. I, uh, I, uh, I thought, I thought you might want to bury it. I vote for cremation. Yeah, well, I'm ready now. No, Ivan's at work today. Yeah, I know Ivan seemed a little spacey at lunch yesterday, but Mom, with all the stress he's been under, and then Dad, sitting there giving him investment advice. <laughs> oh, no, I know he was only trying to help, but tell Daddy not to worry. Well, okay, I'll be outside. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Oh, hi. We need to talk right now. back tonight. My mother's driving me crazy. Hey, darling. It's me. I'm gonna see you real soon. Sooner than you think. Escape. I didn't know if Daphne was here. Well, she's not. She, she won't be home until tonight. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I just have some great news and I couldn't wait to share it. What? Natalia let me quit school. She did? Yep. From now on, I'm a professional amateur musician. Free to do whatever or whoever I want. Well, Sasha, that's great, but look, I, it's not going to be with me anymore, okay? Because this relationship can't go on. 
Natalia, what's burning? Oh, a plastic cup. <clears throat> we had a, um, a minor mishap with the microwave. Todd, would you mind uh, disposing of this in the dumpster outside? Sure. I'll recycle it. If you'd like to read the instructions, I have the microwave manual in my desk. No, thanks. I'll pass. By the way, uh, there was a file folder here that contained a patent portfolio. What yeah. happened to it? I put it right here in your box. That's where all new legal documents go. Anything to do with development or risk factor projections, I put in the file. I didn't cabinet. ask you to do that. Mr. Carlyle liked his desk clear. Do I look like Mr. Carlyle? See, I like my desk like this. I'm sorry if I offended you, Natalia. I uh, was only trying to help. When I need your help, I will ask for it. And in the meantime, you might as well get used to the fact that Boris is gone. That's very difficult. I care deeply for your father. As a matter of fact, it still amazes me that... Well, that things turned out as they did. Meaning what? Well, I guess you and your father were closer than he ever let on. I guess he didn't tell you everything. After all, you're only an assistant. Without a shred of fashion sense. I was just leaving. Where to? House hunting with Mom. Today? Yeah, I would have invited you to, but I know you had to work today. Actually, I'm kind of surprised you're not already there. I wanted to see you first. Well, I'm glad, because we are going to be gone most of the day. Mm. Mom said we have a zillion houses to see. You know, I'm thinking like Listen. a big backyard, a fireplace in our bedroom, and a gourmet kitchen. Because I'm going to learn how to cook, I promise. Julie. Don't worry. I am not going to make any offers until I have your explicit approval. Mm. I need to talk to you. This is really important. I didn't sleep at all last night. Ivan, I'm sorry. Look, I promise. Tonight? We'll be so tired out. Oh, I gotta go. That's mom. Mm. I love you. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, but I want us to spend tonight alone. Ooh. Sounds great. Hi, Natalia. Or should I call you boss? Oh, come on. Simple ma'am will do. What's that smell? Nothing. Sit down. Oh, God, I am so excited that you're here. I have such big plans for you. Together, you and I are going to create the next generation of video games. Just keep me busy in the hours long, okay? Honey, I'm going to keep you so busy you won't have any time to worry about Julie. How is that going, anyway? Messed up? Well, then you're a lot better off here than in some secluded beach house in Rand. I know, but I can't keep living like this. So tonight. Everybody's I... in the conference room. We can start the meeting now. Welcome to Spider Games, Ivan. Now let's go eat some flies. What do you mean it can't go on? Sasha, we have come so close to being busted, God, the other night with Daphne and Dimitri. Dimitri's in L.A. That's not the point. Look, I know you hate the sneaking around crap, and I do too. But now that I've quit school, I can get my own place, somewhere really private. Look, no matter where we do it, it is still illegal. In two years, I'll be 18. I can't wait that long. <laughs> Hello? Good, you're home. I'm sorry, we're not interested. Someone's there, right? I thought I told you to stop calling me. No, I'm finding you is hard work. Now that I have, I'm gonna be a big part of your life. Well, I appreciate the offer, but like I said before, I am quite happy with my current long-distance carrier. Long-distance my ass? Who was that? So come on, dude, lay it out. We know you're tight with the new boss. What's her deal? Is she a hard ass like her father? Oh, she's brilliant. Okay, everyone, 
let's get started. Good morning. I am Natalia Carlisle, and I'm so happy to have you all on board the new and improved Spider Games. My father, Boris Carlisle, started this company in 1978, and he built it into a major home entertainment force. Technologically and financially, Spider Games peaked in the late 80s. And, well, let's face it, it's been coasting ever since. But things are going to be different now. With your help, I plan on turning this company back into a major A-list company. Now, to show my appreciation, we have added a dental plan to your benefits, as well as a policy against discrimination based on sexual orientation. Moving on, allow me to introduce our two newest executives. First, my brother, Ivan Carlisle. He will be our new VP of Research and Development. Ivan has degrees in computer science and marketing, and so many fantastic ideas. I can't believe my father didn't snap him up right out of high school. He will be working very closely with our new VP of Game Design, Todd Fleming. Awesome, dude. You're my new best friend. What happened to Michael Stevens? He was your father's chief designer from the beginning. Michael's retired. He's only 46. Call it whatever you like, he's no longer here. Todd, why don't you tell everybody about our newest, and I am sure, biggest game ever, Witch Wars. <clears throat> Thank you, Natalia. Okay, um, Witch Wars. You, uh, okay, there, there's, there's three witches, all right, and they're terrorizing your village, and they're eating your children and turning people into tree frogs. The object is to escape the witches and then capture them and burn them at the stake. Uh, from there you go on into a special extra bonus round where you fight their evil spirits on like a whole fourth dimension thing. It's really fun. And the uh, sound and graphics, of course, will be killer. Didn't Mr. Carlisle reject Witch Wars because of its violence? I don't recall that. Uh, well, I do. Um, your father was very concerned about violence in video games. My father rejected a lot of promising ideas, Myrna. He wasn't open to new trends or innovations. In fact, he made his employees afraid to approach him with their opinions. Well, I want everyone here to know that you are always free to come to me with any suggestions or feedback, and that my door is always open. There are no bad ideas. Well, I'm afraid that this Witch Wars game is a very bad idea. Well, that's a shame, Myrna. Because you're going to be getting some major royalties from this project. Royalties? Why? Because we used your face for witch number one. <laughs> but you're going to be collecting those checks in the mail. Because you're fired. So, anyone else? Comments, opinions, suggestions? Good. The genesis of this game, it's based on um, all the classic fairy tales. Snow White, Hansel and Gretel, The Wizard of Oz. It's 1999, Natalia. Witches are passé. But that's not true. Look, there's a new movie coming out, an independent film called The Blair Witch Project. It is getting incredible buzz. Yeah, I read all about that. It's a cheap piece of crap. Nobody is going to pay a dime to watch a whole movie. I disagree. Who died and made you CEO? Will you please just take a look at the animation prototype? They are incredibly realistic. Yeah, these are disgusting, and I will not expose children to these kind of violent images. You're such a hypocrite! Since when do you give a damn about children? Not even your own! Poor Natalia. Whenever she doesn't get her way, she plays the abuse card. Why don't you go cry in your Prada? I have been working on this project day and night. Take some time off. Get yourself a boyfriend. Wait, don't tell me. You hate men. You know what? I'm gonna get this game made, one way or another. Good luck.
Excuse me, am I interrupting? Not at all, Myrna. I'm done with Natalia. Guess what just came from the framer? And they did a beautiful job. Well, that's not too shabby. And we're going to put it up right there. That way, nobody will forget who's in charge. Are you still here? You won't get away with this. I've been a loyal employee of this firm for a long, long time. You were loyal to my father. You've never liked me. Well, that's not true. Really? Do you remember your trip to Hawaii? That was nearly 20 years ago. Uh-huh. You brought Dimitri back a surfboard. Do you remember what you brought me? Chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. The stale, cheap, waxy kind. And that's why I'm being fired. That and your attitude sucks. You just can't get rid of me. This company has a non-discrimination policy. Are you a lesbian? No. Then hit the bricks. Oh, wait. You can't go without your severance package. Here. Now the two of you, get the hell out of here. What was that about? Nothing. Um, I was just cleaning out the corporate litter box. So, are you settled into your new office? Settled. Not even close. Hold on, are people giving you crap about me making you VP? Because if they are, I want their names. No, that's not it. I, everybody's cool. Okay, so what's going on? I've made a decision. I'm going to end my marriage. Well, I'm not surprised, Ivan. And I think it's for the best. I can't keep lying to Julie if I don't tell her the truth. Somebody else will. Hello? Hi, Julie. Daddy, hi. I just walked in the door. I know. I just spoke to your mom in the car. I was hoping to catch you before she took you home. Why? I need to speak to you right away. Okay. No, not on the phone. It sounds serious. I'm afraid it is. It concerns your future with Ivan. Well, okay, Daddy. Uh, are, are you at home or in your office? I'm at home. Should I tell Ivan to meet us there? No, don't bring Ivan. I need to speak to you alone. Okay. Come on, Taylor, that was no long-distance company. Are you seeing someone else? Is that why you're dumping me? No, 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 sweetie, that's not it. Then who was that on the phone? You sound hassled. Um... Well, about two weeks ago, <laughs> this, this frat guy comes in to come on, and, he, and he's looking for this, like, really slinky dress for his girlfriend, and, and, and he asked me to model it, so I did. Anything for a sale? Yeah, but the next thing I know, he's flirting and, and hitting on me. And telling you that his girlfriend was not that big of a deal? That's a direct quote. Did he start something with you in the boutique? Well, he, he asked me out, but I told him I wasn't interested. Well, how did he get your home number? You're not listed. He must have found it on the internet. You know, I'm going to have my number changed. Is this guy stalking you? How many times has he called? Um, I don't know. Three times, maybe. Well, next time he does, you give me the phone. I'll tell him to piss off. Or better yet, you get me his address and I'll go kick his ass. Thanks. It really means a lot to know you care. You know that I do. I just thought you felt the same way. Oh, sweetie, I do.
coming soon on MTV Spider Games. It looks like you're gonna be taking our little secret to the grave with you. <gasps> Lyle? Surprise, Taylor. <laughs>